Newsroom first reported that the accountant Rosanna Ramnarine and a clerk Deborah Forbes were sent home after the entity discovered that they manipulated the books and created fraudulent documents in order to scam the entity of millions. Following the report by Newsroom, Chairman of the Board Gabriel H. K. Lal called a press conference today where he noted that based on internal investigations into the matter, the employees were executing the scheme since the beginning of the year. In a word, so far, they have agreed with what they have heard. That's more than one word, I'm sorry. They have agreed with what was presented to them. Am I right, Ms. Weaver? That, yes, they have agreed with what was presented to them. Lal explained to Newsroom after the press conference that the entity's internal probe produced evidence that is damning and when confronted with the evidence, the employees did not plead innocent. The chairman said the matter has not been handed over to the police, but the likelihood is currently under discussion. We haven't reached that stage yet, but that is, it. That is part of the discussion that is going on at multiple levels at the Gold Board in conjunction with, with senior people in the ministry. Acting General Manager of the Board, Eon Dreen Thompson, explained how the fraud was unearthed. We found a situation where one client, I see, it's in the name of that client. He usually have a high percentage and uh, the results came back as a low percentage, lower percentage than was sent out, that was paid out. It's payout factor. We have what we call the payout factor, and then we have the assay results. When the results came back, it came back lower than is usual. That's not his profile. It's contrary to his profile. So we decided to investigate it. It turned out that it could have been probably a switch with that client's assay. Um, that was rectified. However, we decided to comb the system. And that's where we unearthed a couple of inconsistencies. Thompson emphasized that the ACs of minors are not compromised because there was no manipulation of the test results, but rather a falsification of documents. Meanwhile, when asked why the entity's senior officers were not sent home as a result of the fraud case, as was done in the money laundering probe against gold dealer Siddiqui Bobby Rasool, Lal explained that the latter matter involved the Special Organized Crime Unit. He noted, too, that in the case with the two employees, they have strong evidence to prove who are the culprits, whereas the evidence is not so clear in the Rasool matter. General Manager Lisa Ramatar, Deputy General Manager Andrea Silochand, and Legal or Compliance Officer Suzanne Bolin were sent home pending the SOKU investigation. Davina Samaru, Newsroom.